17 years in law enforcement, so it's the EOC is just where everything is funneled through, all the information that comes in to and goes out through the EOC. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. all the responses are coordinated, people are sent where they need to be, and uh, you know, they handle all the media communications and everything comes out of the EOC. It's the nerve center, right? It's the nerve center. And you have to do the same type of thing. You have to train people now. When we talk about training, people need to be trained now. And you need to train if you decide that in order to man a call center in this conference, it would take approximately eight people, let's say. I'm just throwing that number out there. Then how many people would you have to train? 24. At least 24, right on the button. At least 24. Exactly. Because when the balloon goes up, X number of people will have moved, X number of people will be on vacation, X number of people will be ill, and X number of people may be victims themselves and never get the word. The other thing that you have to do with the call center, for it to be effective, you must have an alternate. You must have an alternate site. Okay? Because the site itself may be right in the eye of the storm, so to speak. So you have to have an alternate. This is a big, big piece. One of the things that made the response to Katrina, uh, I was assigned to Louisiana. And one of the things that we got underway very, very quickly was the call center there. They didn't have it prior to the event, but we were able to get it up and running, and it stayed up and running for an awful long time. But that's an imperative that you really have to get going, okay?